1660 WFNC, the franchise. Coming up tonight at 7 o'clock, the National Football League releases their 2009 schedules. Everybody's anticipating what that's going to look like, including Jordan Gross, who goes, it's going to be a beast. Brutal. All right. What do you look for when you see a schedule come up? Uh, bye week. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you do mean uh, that. It's important, though. I you mean, do mean that, yeah. though. No, well, it does matter. Like, we had it at week three a couple years ago. Yeah. That's terrible. But, um, no, you, the non, you know, like you said, you know who you're going to play, yeah. which divisions you're going to play, but it's those extra two that you look at. And the home and away really matters because there's some mm -hmm. states I don't mind going to, and there's other ones that you cringe. So, you know, it's a, it'll be tough, but, you know, you can't expect to do well and then have <clears> an easy schedule next year. Uh, we're going to take calls. Lines are jammed. Uh, of course, uh, Jordan's got his big deal coming up on Saturday, April 25th, which we'll be involved with. And again, if folks are interested in tickets, we're going to give away a couple pairs before you right. get out of here tonight. Right. Uh, but if they're interested, you've got the website's a piece of cake. Kickcf.com. And it's coming up on Saturday, April 25th at Memorial Stadium. It'll be a Joes versus Pros right. kind of setup here. Yep. And uh, Jordan's got a lot of the Carolina Panthers going to be involved with this thing, which is going to be fun. And you and I will be out there goofing around, cutting up. It'll be real serious. That's oh, all yeah. I can say. There's no question about it. It is a family-oriented event. I mentioned that last year because my girls and Amy were out there just having a blast with this thing. And uh, folks showed up just had a great, great time. But the most important thing is you raise a lot of money and you got some great, great events and charity events. I mean, uh, yeah. raffle events and everything else that folks can bid on, including a trip to the Super Bowl. Right, yeah. There's raffle items available. You don't even have to be there for the raffle tickets, but um, giving away a suite for the first preseason game with the tailgate party. Uh, two tickets to any home game of your choice during the season. Autographed footballs, you know, stuff signed by Steve and Jake and all the guys. But the big item is we're going to do a live auction and somebody will walk away with a trip for two to the, to the Super Bowl this year in Miami with awesome. tickets, uh, plane tickets, and hotel. So if you just want to pay to come bid on that, that's, that's going to somebody. So, um, yeah, last year went really well. And um, it's just a fun way to see the, the Panthers in a different light, uh, raising money and just having a lot of good times. And we mentioned, again, congratulations. Um, we got a new addition to the family on Easter morning. Yeah, uh, a little girl born at 2.30 in the morning. So um, The name is? Rainy. Where would that come from? Is that a family name or did you come up with something? Just liked it. Yep. Yeah, just a family uh, Not a family name, I should say, but just, um, yeah, a little, I guess it's the hippie in me. Oh. <laughs> I like it. No, that's it. So, hey, Kyle, I know you're in Wilmington. Would you like to try to win tickets, or, or, or will that not make sense given your locale? There we go. All right, you ready? Uh, on Jordan's farm in Idaho, he grows which of the following? Ready? Cabbage, alfalfa, soybeans, turnips. Hey, hey! Congratulations. We'll see you in a couple of weeks. I'm going to put you on hold. There you go. How about that? You want to explain yourself on that one? We just bumped our ticket sales by two. <laughs> right there. Alfalfa does Alfa it again. Alfalfa is the crop of the gods. <laughs> Alfalfa, or more commonly known as uh. hay, feeds uh, horses and cattle in our area. And I sell our crop to my buddy who owns a big dairy. So. You know what I was really scared about when I asked you what you named your daughter? I thought you were going to go, Alfalfa. Pack <laughs> Alfalfa that's my, gross. That's my meal ticket. Alfalfa. Right there. Yeah. Let's go back to the phones. <laughs> I think I might have another baby by the time that guy had been no. uh, you know, I think 12 and 4 in the NFC South Championship is a pretty good season. You know, I mean, the playoffs obviously didn't go the way you guys wanted it to, but but, uh, you know, I think that's where, as a front office and as a team, you take a step back and, and you look at the big picture. You don't just look at one game and what went wrong with one game. I think you look at, you know, the whole body of work. And I think overall the body of work, you know, the running game is, is, is you know, I mean, you know, third in the league and, and 30 rushing touchdowns in, in that part of the game, you know, emerged. So, you know, I think they took major strides on offense. Now I think you just got you, you to tweak some things on defense. And, of course, the big question is what happens with Julius. And that's going to dictate a lot of what happens this offseason. Yeah, I think the thing I, I like about Coach Fox is I really feel like he does a nice job of listening to his players. He doesn't listen to everybody. He doesn't listen to everything we say. But, um... You know, just the way we do things as far as like practice goes and training camp, and I think this year was the epitome of that because one thing I've, I've felt like early on is that we weren't always the strongest teams later in the year. And uh, just, you know, endurance-wise and energy-wise because we grind a lot. And he's really kind of tweaked things, and, and now uh, 
you know, I think this last season was kind of the fruits of his labor because we were able to run the ball really well. And, and as far as like the defense and offensive side go, you know, we were talking about during the break, free agency, and you got to make decisions. And, you know, we had a strong defense when I got in here, and the offense was kind of playing catch up. And now finally our offense has kind of caught up the slack. And you know, we've had to pay the price on defense a little bit, so now that's going to be an adjustment this offseason. So I think he does a great job, and I definitely think that, um, you know, like you said, 12-4, and four, the, the last game is what it was, and you can't really base the whole season off of that. All right, got to give away these tickets. Again, the event's coming up on Saturday, the 25th. That's not this weekend. It's the following weekend. It'll be at Memorial Stadium. 1 o'clock is going to be the opening kick, I guess you'd call it. Right, right? kickoff. And you can still purchase tickets by going online. Yep, kickcf.com. And you've got the Joes versus basically the pros. And Jordan has put together a list of uh, Panther players, and it is a fun, relaxing day. It was great last year. It's going to be a blast this year. Some cool things you can bid on, including uh, Super Bowl tickets, amongst other things. But bring the family out there and just have a great time. And, again, uh, the proceeds go to a great cause, something that's close to your heart. Yeah, the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation, uh, you know, it really hit my family hard. I have a niece with it. And uh, the event's just a ton of fun. You know, our sponsors have been great. CPI is our title sponsor, and they're – have really given a lot more than we could have even hoped for. Um, Time Warner Cable and uh, Jeldwin Windows also. The, all those guys have done an outstanding job. And if you want to bring the family something different, get some autographs, some pictures, and really experience a lot of these Panther guys in a different light, you know, i, I got to say it's a special day. All right, and uh, of course you got a cool uh, national anthem this year, right? Yeah, Brad Whitford from Aerosmith, one of the lead guitarists that's been with them since the beginning. We'll be doing the national anthem, and I told him to Jimi Hendrix it up for us. Right, so. He'll do a great job of that. Jordan, we're looking forward to the event coming up on the 25th. We appreciate you stopping by, as always. Yeah, thanks a lot for having me. KickCF.com for all details. And again, I uh, appreciate you stopping by, and hopefully the uh, Panthers give us something to talk about between now and the draft coming up. It's going to be interesting. That's all we'll see. All right. We'll see.